In this video, I'm going to show you some of the items that are disappearing off the shelves because of the coronavirus panic. Stick around to the end so you can get the free download that has the World Health Organization tips and guidelines for the coronavirus. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Yesterday, I ran to Costco to get toilet paper and this is what I found. An entire row completely empty and cleared out of everything on it. Now, I asked some workers when they were getting more toilet paper and water in and I was told they had been through five semi trucks full of water in less than half a day and three semi trucks of toilet paper. Stick around with me till the end and I will show you the funniest thing that was completely sold out everywhere I went. Now this was interesting as I went into the milk section. Usually there are tons of crates of milk here and they were almost sold out and this was at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Now let's make our way down the pet food aisle. There was still pet food left. It was getting a little bit more sparse than I typically see when I go shopping, especially for being only 1 p.m. in the afternoon. You would think it would be like that towards the end of the day. Now, size four diapers were completely sold out and there was a little bit of Gatorade left. The chicken and the frozen food section looked like it had gone through a war zone. Workers told me that most people were leaving with four bags of chicken. Now, this was kind of funny seeing that the taquitos were almost completely sold out by 1 p.m. On this particular aisle, the taquitos and the chicken pot pies funny enough, and the lasagna were the things that were being bought the most and seemed like they probably didn't have a full day's worth left of those particular items. So down the refrigerator section, butter was the one thing that was missing the most there. You couldn't get the sticks of butter. I went down the cooking aisle, which was missing the basics of sugar and flour, and this, this was the last of the canola oil. They did have out brown sugar and uh, powdered sugar, but other than that, like the main staples were completely gone. And I noticed as I shopped through Costco that they had workers consistently pulling stuff out from the back and filling in the empty holes. So if there was something that had sold out, they were coming in and putting whatever they could find in that spot and hopefully finding something that probably belonged on that aisle. But you'll see a little bit later that um, they didn't always find things that belonged on the aisle that they were putting things in. Here we have a worker bringing in tuna to fill in some of the spots that were empty. So it was pretty busy here for being midday and the chicken broth was going pretty fast as well. But as you can see, a lot of the other main things were still heavily available. I noticed that there was no refried beans. They were completely gone. But some of the other main things that you don't really need a ton of were still there. They were kind of filling in the shelves with things that you typically don't buy a lot of. So you can see there's tons of chili left and the cracker aisle and the chips aisle was totally fine. Um, they were getting low on jam and typically that's like sky high but the peanut butter was pretty good you'll see here that the jiffy was getting low spam was disappearing off the shelves along with the spaghetti sauce a lot of those ones were either gone completely or close to being gone now the only rice available was brown rice and as you can see they put protein where the bread should be the bread aisle was getting pretty sparse for being fairly early in the day, but the dried fruit section was totally fine. And the protein slash nutrition section was packed full as well. They still had protein shakes, protein bars. The only one that I noticed was getting low was whey protein powder, the main one that they carry. Now I went to Walmart next because I needed toilet paper. This was something that wasn't like a buy just because we wanted to have it on hand. It was something that we actually needed. And it was our lucky day because they did have a few 
packages of toilet paper left. Yay. I must have gotten to Walmart just when they were getting a shipment in because they did pull out one pallet of water and so I was able to get a case to keep in my car. Now the shelves on Walmart were pretty sparse and like I said this was right around 1 p.m. in the afternoon and so as you see I'm walking down here this is where the beans the dried beans and the rice would typically be the shelves were almost completely empty I was able to find vegetarian refried beans at Walmart though. It was all that was left were big giant cans of it, but my kids will be happy to have those around. Okay, now for the moment you've been waiting for, the one product that I was not expecting to be completely sold out of was Diet Coke. You could not find Diet Coke anywhere. And it was just hilarious because Coke on the left was completely stocked and Coke Zero on the right was pretty well stocked as well but Diet Coke was completely gone at 1 p.m. at Costco and Walmart. So apparently water, toilet paper, taquitos, and Diet Coke are the necessities to get us through the coronavirus in 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you would like to download a free guide on what the World Health Organization is recommending as the coronavirus hits, please click the link below. As always, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.